Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my holiday beauty gift guide and these are all products that I've chosen very carefully. I think that they're going to make very impressive holiday gifts for any makeup lover. So let's go ahead and get started. I would love to invite all of you to join me in the comment section below. Let me know what's on your holiday wish list. Um, what are you planning to purchase and give me some gift ideas as well. I love when we share our thoughts and I love to read your comments. At the end of this video I'm going to share also what's on my wish list but first of all let's start with my recommendations. The first product is actually one that I already gifted to myself from myself from me to me that was a product from Westman Atelier and I think that this is her most beautiful product from the whole mess Westman Atelier line and this is the Super Loaded Tinted Highlight in Peau de Rosé. It arrived yesterday. I think that this is going to make such a wonderful gift for any makeup lover. I know that it's pricey but I think it's worth the splurge. Now I used to have Peau de Peche and I really loved this one. I've used it so much in my everyday life. I think that this is a very unique product which is going to make such a beautiful gift and every makeup lover is going to appreciate it. Now to start off with, the whole packaging and the whole unboxing is really great. It comes in this beautiful elegant box. Here you have the Westman Atelier logo and it's going to come with its own very cute dust bag. I really like this touch from Westman Atelier. That's how all of her products actually come. And here is the tinted highlight. This is a very interesting product and I used to love my Peau de Peche. So Peau de Peche is a little bit more subtle. It's a little bit deeper. Um, it works even on my pale skin tone if I have a light hand or I just like to add it almost like a blush. Um, like a um, highlighting blush. I think that this is one of the most unique, if not the most unique actually, this is the most unique product from Westman Atelier and one that I would absolutely recommend. Now from a long time I was um, in doubt whether I should get the Peau de Rosé or not because I know that it has some shimmery particles but I have to tell you that it's so incredibly beautiful. Now if you shy away from glitter I would say go for Peau de Peche or Peau de Santé. Unfortunately I could not um, purchased Peau de Santé because her website had a glitch and I could not uh, somehow I emailed her customer service a few times they promised that they're going to fix the glitch and they never fixed that so for Westman Atelier's products are really good I really respect her but with her customer service I would say like one out of five stars every time when I write to them and I say well I have a problem with the website I have a problem with I cannot purchase the products that I want they're like oh thank you so much for reaching out to us we're going to fix the problem and then they end up not fixing the problem and then I email them again but that's a long story anyways I think you get the idea it is a very expensive product I know that I realize that however I think that it's one of the luxury makeup products that is worth the splurge you can find a dupable product or if you can let me know in the comments below my next recommendation is going to be a scented body lotion from Chanel I think that this is going to be a fantastic gift for everyone I actually purchased already one to gift to a friend now the reason why I'm recommending these because uh, these are specifically I'm recommending the I'm going to recommend one lotion in particular and this is Paris Venice. This is from Les Eaux collection of Chanel and I think that these, if you have one of these lotions, you basically don't need the fragrance because a little goes a long way with these lotions. They are very scented, they are they feel very lightweight on, on the skin. I have sensitive skin and I have no problem with this lotion. A little goes a long way. I would say that you can even use your regular unscented body moisturizer and then use this one on top just to give a little bit of fragrance but if you have the lotion you don't need the fragrance the lotion is already so long lasting and it somehow hugs you with such a beautiful scent now the one that i'm holding here is paris paris and i'm halfway through this one now this one is a gorgeous floral fragrance with citrus opening it has a lot of rose rose is at the center of this fragrance and then it has also a little bit of patchouli in the base i adore this fragrance however for this time of the year and for a gift i would recommend paris venice because it is a very inviting scent everyone loves this scent actually i have to say that i like paris venice the body lotion better than the fragrance itself because somehow it hugs me this fragrance hugs me and it's so 
fantastic, so beautiful. I've already gifted this one to a friend of mine once and she was so thrilled with this fragrance. I think that this is one of the most more inexpensive gifts, but it's going to leave a lasting impression. It's absolutely gorgeous. So Paris Venice starts off with a very soft neroli opening, which some people could describe as a little bit of citrus, but it's actually a neroli opening and it has tonka and vanilla in the base. It is such a sophisticated scent that is very inviting, very, I would say that it's a safe blind buy. If you don't want to splurge on a Chanel fragrance, get one of these lotions. They are incredibly scented and you basically have the fragrance. It's like you have the fragrance. You don't even need to, to spray the fragrance. Okay, moving on to my next recommendation. My next recommendation is going to be one of, this is going to be more expensive, so probably either for you or for a loved one, for someone that's very close to you. And this is the Chanel um, body oils. I really love those body oils. I've had two of the body oils, one from Jasmine and one the Rose. These are two my two favorites, but whichever you choose, these are gorgeous and the scent is not very strong. So if you're quite sensitive to fragrances, these are not incredibly scented, but you're still going to feel the scent of the oil all over your skin. These are very nourishing, very comforting, especially for this time of the year, and they always make such a spectacular gift. Next, we're moving on to another gift need to turn around and take it. I think that one of the little Chanel extracts are always going to make the most impressive gift. And I think that these are very suitable for gifts. The one that I have right now is Coco Mademoiselle. I have also Allure, should be somewhere around, but Allure is right now not available everywhere. It's not available in the US. It's only available the extra version in Europe. So in the US, you have the Coco Mademoiselle. I want to show you how big it is. It's going to make such a spectacular gift. The whole unboxing, the whole gifting, I think, is about the impression that you're going to get. It's just a little jewelry. It's a piece of jewelry, this little fragrance, and the whole ritual of applying it. I apply it actually for special occasions. I don't use it every day. So the Coco Mademoiselle X-Tray and... Let me go ahead and get actually the Coco Mademoiselle um, Eau de Parfum. So this is the Eau de Parfum from 35 ml and this is the X-Tray. I just want to show you how these two compare. I prefer the X-Tray probably because the whole vintage experience of applying the fragrance it's so so lovely. It's always such a lovely a little bit festive experience to apply fragrance in this kind of an old way. I really really like these for gifts. And I would say that it's not the most expensive gift because it's just um, a little over $100. So if it's for a special person or for yourself, having this jewelry for a special occasion, I think that any makeup lover, fragrance lover are really going to appreciate this. In terms of fragrance, how these two are different. I find that this one is a little bit more rich. It is... I can feel the Rose de May, I think, a little bit more. This one is a little bit more citrusy. This one is a little bit more rich, but they, basically this is the same fragrance. This one is not necessarily more long lasting than the Eau de Parfum. This is something that you have to know. Um, probably this one is going to last just a little bit more, like a couple of hours more. But this is just something that I wanted to tell you. So do not expect if you get the X-Tray that it's going to last, like it's going to be a lot more long lasting than the Eau de Parfum. So this is just something that I wanted to tell you because a lot of people think that the extracts from Chanel are going to last a lot longer than the Eau de Parfums. Not all the time, specifically with Coco Mademoiselle, this one and the Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum has very similar lasting power. Next, we're moving on to one of my all-time favorite hand creams, and this is the Le Lift hand cream, again from Chanel. I think that this makes a perfect gift for any luxury lover, makeup lover. If it's someone that loves luxury makeup or Chanel, I think they're going to appreciate this one. I don't know why Chanel always, in their gift sets, they are always going to put the white cream, the basic cream, hand cream. I prefer this one. I think that this one is worth the extra money because what makes this cream 
special is that it's very light. When I apply it on my hands, um, 20 seconds after application, my hands are not greasy, they're just soft. The skin is moisturized as if my skin is just naturally moisturized, as if I did not apply moisturizer on my hands, but my skin is just naturally moisturized. I find that this one works best on my hands, especially I like to have this one in the winter time because, you know, skin starts to get a little bit more rough and that's when I really can feel the difference. Also, it has a very light very nice scent, lovely scent. I just want to show you the consistency. It sinks into the skin so beautifully and a little goes a long way with, with this one. You don't need a lot. I find it, it lasts me a long time because I don't reapply it. I don't keep reapplying it. Somehow it works to restore, replenish and to really make the skin on my hands healthy. And that's why I find that I use less from this cream um, compared to other hand creams that I use in the winter, compared to other hand creams, you know that with other hand creams, when I wash my hands, I immediately feel the urge to apply some moisturizer, to apply some hand cream. With this one not, I actually use it a couple of them, times per day and it's absolutely enough to make my skin soft. I have dry skin on my hands, I often use a hand sanitizer, but I find that this one just helps to keep my skin incredibly soft. It's the only hand cream that keeps my skin really, really soft. And I know that this one is expensive, but if it's a holiday gift, I think it's worth the splurge. Next, we're moving on to two beautiful bronzers that I love. These are some of my all-time favorite bronzers. One of them I have, the other one I don't have. So one of the bronzers is going to be the oversized Healthy Glow bronzer from Chanel. I haven't stopped using this one. I think that it's going to make a beautiful gift for any makeup lover. I like the blurring effect that it gives me. It can be used on the body, but I find that I usually use it right around here, just to give a little bit of color to my face. I use the shade Sunlight Light. It matches my skin tone perfectly, and it's like the perfect touch of color. Even if I don't wear foundation, I find that I like to use this one with the big brush which is not available anymore because these were limited edition. I'm not sure if this is going to be a permanent product. I think that it might not be permanent. Right now it's available, but I believe that this was supposed to be a limited edition. So this one, 10 out of 10 for this bronzer. It's blurring, it's beautiful. And the other bronzer that I don't have right now, but it's probably one of the best bronzers that I've ever used, again, is from Westman Atelier. Again, this is going to come in this beautiful packaging with a little dust bag. I don't have it right now with me. I wear the paler shade of this bronzer and it melts into the skin. It's such a high quality powder. I absolutely adore this bronzer. By the way, I purchased the compact powder. It's, it still hasn't arrived, but I'm definitely going to share with you my thoughts on the compact powder because I was thinking to buy it then I kept postponing and here we come the Black Friday so I thought that I'm going to take advantage of the sales that are going on. My next recommendation is going to be another Extra de Parfum and this is one of my all-time favorites. I adore this one and I actually ordered this, ordered this one at my local Dior counter because in Europe this one is not that easy to find but you have it available in the US and this is the Miss Dior Extra de Parfum. I think that the whole bottle is absolutely stunning. This is definitely a piece that's worth having in your collection. The whole bottle is incredibly beautiful and the fragrance is so long lasting, so gorgeous. Now here, this one is not the same as the Miss Dior, the latest Miss Dior that was released in 2021. You know that Dior released a new Miss Dior every year or a couple of years. This one remains the same, the X-ray version, and it is more beautiful than the Eau de Parfum, the Eau de Toilettes. I really love this one. So if you can test this one, if you can go to any of your local Dior boutiques and if you can test this one, definitely go ahead and test this one. I know that it is a bit of an investment. However, it is such a beautiful fragrance. But once again, be sure to test this one before purchasing because everyone has a different taste. I like usually light floral fragrances, a little bit fruity. Um, this one is just such a gorgeous statement fragrance for me. Next, we're moving on to a few skincare recommendations that I have. The first recommendation that I have is a night cream for Sisley, which is very suitable for this time of the year. It is suitable for all skin types except if you are very 
oily and you are in your 20s, I would say stay away from this cream. But other than that, it's really, really gorgeous. This is the night cream with collagen. I have tried a lot of the Sisley skincare products and the latest products that I have been trying, testing, are these two lotions. This is the Sislia um, Essential Skincare Lotion and then the other one is the Sislia Night at night, the Supreme Anti-Aging Skincare Lotion. I will not recommend these. They are wonderful, they are good, but they are very pricey for what they offer and that's why I'm just not going to recommend them. I'm testing them right now. I have other Sisley skincare products as well. The one that I would recommend for this time of the year, this cream from Sisley, the night cream, with collagen is really gorgeous for all skin types. As I said, except if you're in your 20s and you have oily skin, you don't need it. Other than that, I think that you're really going to enjoy this cream. Next, we're moving on to another really cute um, set, which I think is worth trying. This is Clean Beauty and it's from Ren Skincare. These are three skincare products with um, glycolic acid and um, vitamin C creams. I'm going to make sure to link this set and show it to you. This contains three products from Ren that are my favorites and I especially love the day cream here. Next, we're moving on to another skincare set. Again, this one is more expensive. It's from Clay Depot, but it contains my favorite skincare product from Clay Depot and this is the Night Lotion. This one is absolutely enough. It depends how dry is your skin, but it's... Um, I know that it contains alcohol and I don't really know and I haven't researched in detail the whole science behind Clay Depot skincare. However, this lotion I've used it and it really works to replenish the skin, to really rehydrate the skin. It's very moisturizing without making the skin oily. I've seen improvement in my skin when I was using this lotion and that's why I saw this, I saw this set and I thought that I would recommend it because it's great. If you want to try anything from Clay Depot, this is my favorite skincare product from Clay Depot. And we're moving on to two very exciting sets. These are both from 111 Skin. I know that their skincare is very expensive, however, I like it, I use it, I keep repurchasing it. So one of the sets that I'm going to recommend is the Rose Gold set. It contains um, my favorite eye mask. These masks really help to brighten the under eye area. They are gorgeous. And then you have also the brightening face mask and you have the Rose Gold Serum, which almost look, works like a highlighter, but it has the skincare benefits. I think that this is an excellent set and I'm actually going to purchase this one for myself because I have a discount right now at Niche Beauty and I'm going to be purchasing this one for myself. Then the next set that I'm going to recommend is a little bit more expensive. However, it contains all products that I love. Now the purple mask from 111 Skin is my favorite. I also love the serum and the eye cream. And then Basically with this um, set, you have your day skincare and night skincare. Some of the iconic products of 111 Skin that contain vitamin A, and these are not harsh to the skin. So even if you have sensitive skin and if you're not used to using retinoids, I think that this is going to be an excellent set. Of course, this is if it is within your budget. So with skincare, you can always have really good skincare that is affordable. I just saw this set, I really like them and that's why I'm sharing them with you. However, keep in mind that this one is really expensive so don't feel like you have to buy this one. Um, and if you don't buy this one, you're not going to have beautiful skin, that's not what I'm saying. You can have amazing, affordable skincare products. Next, we're moving on to the Guerlain Meteorites Pearls. I think that this is always going to make an excellent gift for a makeup lover or for yourself. I've always had from these pearls. They are very luxurious. I really like the glowing effect that they give on the skin and I would usually buy these. I like Claire number two, the light pearls. This is the one that matches my skin tone. They used to have a blush as well from these pearls, but it's not available anymore. I really like this one and I think that this one is going to make a nice gift. Next, I'm going to move on to two very extraordinary and actually my two favorite products from Hermes. One is the highlighter. You've heard me talking about this highlighter a lot of times. It is one of the very few actually yellow 
highlighters that I love. I think that this is going to make a spectacular holiday gift for any makeup lover because the whole embossing, well, I've used this one a lot, um, like really a lot. This one is from the time when it was launched and I've used it so much. I've used it on my eyes and on my face. I really love this one. And I think that it's going to make spectacular gift because the embossing is so detailed and beautiful and any makeup lover is going to love to have this one in their collection. As well, I've used this one so much and it has seven grams of product. So you're getting enough product here. You're getting a lot of product. And I think that it's worth the splurge, especially for a Christmas gift. Then the next product that I'm going to recommend is, you know, my favorite Hermes lipstick. I think that this one is really beautiful and it's very hard to find a dupe to this one. I did show you dupes to this lipstick in one of my French Beauty Secrets videos. I'm going to make sure to leave a link in the description box. I actually have a very affordable dupe to this one. However, the whole experience that this lipstick gives me, I wear it every single day. It's my favorite color. I have it on my lips today. Sometimes I like to use it as a stain. Sometimes I like to apply it straight from the bullet. I can tone the color down. It is long lasting. It feels amazing on my lips. I just think that it's great to have it. And this is actually refillable. So then you can buy another color without buying the case as well, which is an additional perk, I think. And I really love these. Next, moving on to the lipstick sets. And I'm always going to gift those to friends just to see them smile because they are not expensive. At the same time, everyone smiles when they receive them. So I have a few lipstick sets to recommend. The first one is going to be a Dior lip set. I think that I've shown, I believe that in one of my shorts videos, I've shown you swatches of all these colors. This is the new holiday collection from Dior. The whole case is so bougie and beautiful and very attractive. So this is definitely my favorite gift set. And the colors this year are really nice. Also, I like the embossing. I like everything about this set. It is beautiful and it's going to make such a wonderful gift for the holiday season. Then the next set that I have and I would love to recommend is from YSL. I love the YSL lipsticks. They have amazing formulation and you're getting four mini lipsticks. They are really cute and I like to, to gift those as well. And then the next one is by MAC. I recently started testing MAC makeup and I like the formulation of the lipsticks. I think that also the little case that comes, it's almost like a handbag with little pearls. I think that it's very beautiful, especially suitable for a Christmas gift. Then the next recommendation that I'm going to have is a Guerlain lipstick with a Guerlain lip, lipstick case. Well, I think that if you were to buy only one lipstick and to gift one lipstick, I think that a Guerlain lipstick is going to leave a lasting impression. Also, the person who is going to receive this gift is going to have the opportunity to then buy refills of this lipstick and use the same case. And the case is something that is going to remain in their collection. There are so many different cases to choose from. I really like their cases because they come with two mirrors inside. I think that it's a beautiful product and it's going to make a nice Christmas gift. Next, I'm moving on to a few skincare recommendations. Now, my first one is going to be by L'Occitane. It's a set of three hand creams. I love their hand creams. They are very handy. They are great quality. As I said, probably some of you are now going to ask about what is the difference between these hand creams and the Chanel hand cream. The Chanel hand cream, uh, these, when you apply them on your hands, you are going to feel like you have a moisturizer on the hands. When you apply the Chanel moisturizer, you don't feel like you have moisturizer like 10 seconds after applying it. It just sinks into the skin, becomes one with the skin. So this is the main difference. Then I have a few gift sets that I would love to recommend. These are from Nuxe. It's one of my favorite French, almost I should call it a French pharmacy brand. I don't really know if we can classify this as a French pharmacy brand, but I always buy these in pharmacies. So let's classify it as French pharmacy brand. The first set contains one of their newer, newer skincare products, which I've tried and I love, I've used. This is the Firming Powdery Cream. This one is suitable for those of you who have normal to combination skin or combination skin or oily skin. It almost works like a primer. I find that it definitely improved the texture of my skin. My skin was feeling really nice when I was using this cream. And it has this kind of almost, it feels like a primer. So 
it really mattifies the skin and foundation glides very easily on top. And then you have a little sample size, luxury sample size of their Iconic Serum. I don't really love this one, if I have to be honest, but this set is good just to be able to try the serum and then you have a full size of the cream. Then the next gift set again is going to be by Nux and this is the Certified Organic Care Collection set. I love the moisturizer, I love the oil, I bet that the candle is going to be nice and I haven't tried the soap as well, but the moisturizer and the oil are gorgeous. This is my favorite moisturizer from NUX. I think that the quality is very good. This is the Skin Correcting Moisturizing Fluid. I love this one, I've used it. And then another gift set that I have, this is the Pink Fever set. I think that this is a very cute set. I fused and I loved all of the three products. I love and I fused all of the three products. I think that they're suitable for sensitive skin. The oil can be used on the face, body and hair as well. I think that this is a very beautiful set. And then it's always a good idea if you don't know what to gift. I would actually gift the Iconic Nux Dry Oil because it works on the face, on the body and on the hair. It's a gorgeous product. If you have any questions about Nux, I believe that I've tried most of their products. I really like the consistency of their BB tinted creams, which are from the organic line. However, even the light shade is way too dark for my skin tone. So if you have fair skin tone like me, just don't bother buying this one because the shades are very dark. There are only three colors available, I believe, and the light shade is so incredibly dark. And we're moving on to my wish list. First product on my wish list is a Chanel set, and this one is available only in the US. And I have a very good friend of mine who is actually going to send this to me. Um, well, she's going to travel actually to the US and bring this for me. So this is the Chance Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum and it's a lovely set. Chance Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum is one of my favorite fragrances from Chanel. I know that it's not suitable for the winter time, but it's such a gorgeous fragrance. I like to use it all year round. I have to say that I don't really love the Eau de Toilette. I like it, but it's not long lasting on me. And the Eau de Parfum is very long lasting and I just want to have this set with the hair mist as well. This one is so gorgeous and I can't wait to have my hands on this one. I want to wear this fragrance. I know that it's winter, however, I feel in the mood to wear something floral, light, girly and happy. It's a very extraordinary fragrance that has the Chanel DNA. However, it's a little bit more girly, flirtatious and youthful um, compared to other Chanel fragrances and I just feel like wearing this one. So this is the first product on my wish list. Hopefully I'm going to have this one soon. And then the next product on my wish list, I'm just scrolling down. The next product on my wish list is the Le Lift Restorative Cream Oil. I've tried almost everything from Chanel's skincare with few exceptions. So in case you need some guidance, let me know in the comments below because I've tried almost all of their skincare lines. This is a product that I love to have in the winter time. It feels very comforting, comforting on the skin. I think that it's absolutely worth the splurge. It's not too pricey for a Chanel skincare, but it really works to restore the skin. It's um, almost like a light lotion, but it gives such a good amount of hydration. And when I use this one, I don't use a serum, I don't use a moisturizer, I just use this one alone. It's one and done product for me. And when I'm in a hurry, I just, I'm going to use this one. So this is a product that I'm going to purchase next. I purchased a lot of products. Um, in the past weeks because I was testing a lot of affordable makeup products. If you haven't seen my video with more affordable products, I'm going to make sure to link it in the description box below. However, I have to say that when I started buying a lot of the so-called affordable makeup products, it actually became very expensive because I ended up buying 38 lipsticks because I was looking for a decent dupe of this Hermes lipstick. And when I looked at my credit card at the end, I was like, wow, <laughs> that was a little bit intense because even though they are affordable, when you start buying a lot, like I was researching for the video and buying a lot, it becomes too much. So this is the next product that I have on my wish list, but probably in a couple of weeks, I'm going to purchase this one. Let's get closer to Christmas so that I have the reason to buy this one for myself. But I want it so badly because 
I know that my skin is going to love this product. Then the next product that I want to purchase is Miss Dior Hand Cream. I know that this is a product that is a complete splurge. And I'm going to tell you actually what is the difference between the Miss Dior Cream and the Lilift Cream that I just recommended to you. The Lilith cream is really going to, you're going to see the results on your hands, whereas this one, the Miss Dior hand cream, is just to have the fragrance. It is, it doesn't have the best moisturizing properties, so this is just for those of you who really, like myself, are huge fans of Miss Dior and you want to have this one as a treat, as the yeah, spoil me kind of product but it doesn't really offer a lot in terms of moisture to the hands. So it's very suitable, I would say, for the summertime, but I want to have it now because I just uh, want to wear my Miss Dior fragrance. And that's why I also want to have the Miss Dior body cream because it's such a gorgeous addition and somehow it finishes the whole ritual. A little goes a long way with this cream and this one is actually very rich. I'm going to make sure to link also the body lotion. So what is the difference? The body lotion is going to give you the same scent. The Miss Dior Fresh Body Cream is richer, so it is going to be more comfortable for those of you who have dry skin. Both are going to give you the scent of Miss Dior. So here, choose depending on your preferences because the Miss Dior Fresh Body Cream is more expensive compared to the body lotion and they are both really good. I want the fresh body cream because my skin is a little bit drier these months, that's why. But if you are willing to use a different lotion, these body creams are nicely fragranced. So you can just use a regular moisturizer, unscented moisturizer, and then add a little bit of these scented ones on top. That's how you're going to save the product for longer. However, if I have to recommend one, I would say go for the Chanel ones because they are more long lasting. Uh, the scent on the skin is a lot more long lasting compared to the Dior ones. This is just, I'm, I'm just saying. Okay, then the next product on my wish list is a fragrance that I absolutely love. This is the Givenchy Irresistible Eau de Parfum set. It contains a big fragrance, a small, cute fragrance, and I like to collect those. They always make me happy and may, they make me smile. And then we have a body lotion. This is a set that I want, and it is going to be on discount at my local Sephora. So I'm waiting for my 20% off to get this set, but I'm definitely going to get it. I know that, again, this is a fragrance that is more suitable for the summertime, spring, summertime, even fall time. However, I want to wear it now. It is a very happy, very girly fragrance. It's a floral fragrance and the center is rose. I love roses, so give me rose and I'm going to be happy. And this was all on my wish list for now. I have probably other products as well, but I'm trying to limit myself to what I'm actually willing to buy right now. These were the products that I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much for spending time with me and don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what's on your wish list and let me know some of your recommendations probably. If you have also some really nice affordable recommendations for gifts, let us know. I think that it's going to be beneficial for all of us and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.